Do the right thing right always the first time. That's Rouse's philosophy. Ethical, funny, a leader. I think those are the words that I would use because he's very committed to family, but also having a military background, he wants to make sure that the right thing is done. In this pandemic, he has been a beacon of light as we've struggled through current situation. The Distinguished Service Award of the American Dental Association is the highest award that the ADA bestows upon the dental professionals. Dr. Tahani called me in April and said, Leo, this is Chad. I just want you to know you're the recipient of the 2020 Distinguished Service Award. I said, ah, oh, give me a break calling the wrong house. And we both laughed. But you know what? To be recognized by your peers, that is so important. He's had such a great career in the military, then as Dean at Howard. He brings that experience to the table, but he's also a very strategic leader, but thoughtful. He's highly ethical and professional. And I think more than anything else, he's empathic and caring. He always strives for excellence in the practice of dentistry and serving the profession and the public. He has forged the pathway for diversity and inclusion in the dental profession. And he's been there to mentor so many people. How do we get more African-Americans in dental education as dentists? How do we get more women, okay, more Hispanics, more Native Americans? Uh, I've been fortunate to work with grants as a dean for pipelining. The term now is pathways of getting more underrepresented groups within dental education and into the profession of dentistry. So these are exciting times, and I, I'm committed to diversity and inclusion. And I think you can look at the profession now and see we are very inclusive. And part of that has been because of Leo's work. We've come a long way during my 46 years in this business. But I can tell you as an educator, I really love seeing young men and women meet their goals in life, move forward, and go out and do things for the greater good and really hold true to the social contract that we have with our patients. But as they say back in the old days when I was wearing a uniform, you just put on your boots, you march forward, and you keep on doing the great things that you are doing. And I, I just want to thank the ADA from the bottom of my heart for this recognition. And as I always say, when I get an award or acknowledgement, they always say, those individuals who are standing with me or behind me, those are my credentials. And I accept this award on behalf of all of them.